is the 1911 obsolete. The 1911 pistol is one of the most famous firearms of all time. It was designed by famous American firearms designer John Moses Browning in the year 1911, and it was the official sidearm of the US Army for over 70 years. But is the 1911 still a good pistol by today's standards, or is the 1911 obsolete? The 1911 is a recoil operated semi automatic pistol with a single action trigger and exposed hammer, two safety mechanisms, and a single stack magazine of 7 rounds of 45 ECP. Having a single action trigger means that the trigger only releases a cocked hammer to hit the firing pin. The single action trigger was the earliest and mechanically simplest of all trigger types in semi automatic pistols. It is called single action because it performs the single function of releasing the hammer. For the first shot, the hammer must be cocked by pulling the slide and pushing the first round in the chamber, or by manually cocking the hammer with your thumb. All subsequent shots, the moving slide not only pushes a new round in the chamber, but also cocks the hammer again and makes the gun ready to fire again. The single action mechanism gives the 1911 a very crisp trigger, very much appreciated by precision shooters. A lot of gun enthusiasts are of the opinion that it is one of the best triggers ever designed. When the 1911 is fired, the recoil energy from the fired cartridge powers the joint to the locked slide and barrel a short distance to the rear, while the bullet exits the muzzle and chamber pressure drops to a safe level. Then the barrel link pivots around the slide lock pin, stops the barrel from further movement backward and pulls the barrel downward to unlock it from the slide, allowing the slide to continue its motion fully rearward. The extractor on the moving slide pulls the empty cartridge out of the chamber until the empty case hits the ejector, which pushes the empty case out through the ejection port. I've done a video about how an extractor and injector works. If you want to know more about this, you may want to watch that video. Back to the 1911. The moving slide compresses the recoil spring and pushes the hammer into the cocked position. After the slide reaches its full rearward travel, the expanding recoil spring propels the slide forward to strip a new cartridge from the top of the magazine, guide it into the chamber and leave the gun cocked and ready to fire. The 1911 uses a single stack magazine with 7 rounds of 45 ACP. Modern semi automatic pistols like the Glock 19 use double stack magazines, which have more bullets in it. In simple terms, single stack magazines lay rounds in a single vertical row, while double stack magazines hold two vertically staggered rows packed tightly next to each other. For comparison, the single stack magazine of a 1911 holds 7 rounds. A double stack magazine of a Glock 21, which is like the 1911 a full size pistol chambered in 45 ACP, holds 13 rounds. After the US Army replaced the Colt single action Army revolver in 45 Colt with the Colt model 1892 in 38 Long Colt, it was discovered during the Philippine American War that the new 38 ammunition was not performing well. So in 1904, US Army officer John Thompson, who later invented the Thompson submachine gun, tested for the US Army the effectiveness of various pistol and revolver calibers. In his tests, he came to the conclusion that the caliber should have at least a diameter of 0.45 inches like the 45 Colt that had been used in the Colt single action army revolvers. As a result, Famous American gun designer John Moses Browning designed the 1911 pistol and the pistol caliber 45 ACP, which became the winner of the tests of the US Army. In the year 1911, it was introduced as the official sidearm of the US Army. After 74 years in service, the 1911 was replaced in the year 1985 by the Beretta M9. Today, 1911 pistols are still extremely popular with shooters. They are precise, have an excellent trigger and a big, powerful caliber. Dozens of companies worldwide still produce the 1911 in different sizes and in different calibers, like 45 ACP, 9mm, 10mm and 22 LR. They are not used that much anymore by military and police, but many civilians still like the 1911 a lot and prefer them over modern polymer, striker-fired pistols by Glock, Sig and Smith & Wesson. They still have a strong following, and although its design is over 100 years old, it is still one of the best pistols ever designed. So what's the conclusion? Is the 1911 obsolete? No, I don't think so. I think the 1911 is still a great gun. It has a great trigger, has a very strong, big caliber. It shoots very well. It has only 7 rounds in the magazine. Modern guns have more bullets in it, but it's still a great gun. Would I carry it? No, I don't carry the 1911. I prefer other uh, smaller guns uh, to carry. 
but for Hungry fans I think it is a great great choice to have. So I guess the 1911 is here to stay. I think for the next 100 years it will be here. Thanks for watching.